Well hello there, Lee here at Lee's Gaming Corner with another episode on the Bedrock Survival, episode 18. And in this episode we will be working on the tunnel from my base to the end portal. And getting that all up and ready. So if you like this kind of episode, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, push that bell notification to miss any upcoming videos. And without further ado, let's quickly go and do the sign of the video and get into this episode. And before we actually get too far this, this episode, let's quickly go and do the sign of the video. So before we actually see this week's one, if you actually want to be featured in next week's episode for the sign of the video, don't forget to leave a reasonable comment down below. And if you're lucky, you may be within, with it in a chance to actually get featured in this next week's episode, like this person coming up is about to have. The comment comes brought to you by Giraffe Queen UK which put down looking pretty you got a lot done too so yeah thank you very much thank you very much for that i do appreciate it thank you for watching the last episode and without further ado let's get cracking into this episode before we get cracking on with this episode this a quick reminder if you want to get featured in next week's son of the video don't forget to comment down below in this episode for your chance to be featured in next week's episode so with that all said, let's get cracking on with this episode. So here we are in the tunnel going to the end portal. Yep, end portal. So I've done been a little bit busy here, but before we get too far into it, I'd just like to um say this. I'm not actually gonna go to the end portal yet, not until the um never update, hopefully, as due to the fact of I'm actually having trouble finding the Never Fortress so I can get some laser rods and all of that. I may try and find it at some point, but maybe if I wait until the Nether update hopefully pops up, obviously the end will sorry, never put never the nether will um reset so we're not built much in the nether and hopefully I should spawn next to Hopefully, and fingers crossed, be able to spawn next to the or nearer to the um, Never Fortress, so I'm able to get that or find other mobs that might drop it, depending on all of the um, update. Anyway, so that's the plan for the moment. That's the reason why there's no been up, there's been why I've been building more than I've actually been adventuring, because obviously I want to get the end done. But at the moment, I'm having trouble finding the never fortress so with that said let's actually get into this little episode here as you can see I've been quite busy so I'll quickly shoot off to where I'm going to be working next and show you what part of the um, tunnel I'm actually going to be working on so this is where I'm going to be starting off this episode mainly here getting the height for the um, build tunnel done and put everything into place. That's the plan, so stay tuned. And I'll be back once I've got the height in place. So here I've actually done the height for the tunnel I actually want it to be. As you can see here. It's not taking shape very slowly, but be able to sort that out to be fair. Just gotta fill the sides up so I can actually line up what I want in place. I'm not going to fill the gaps in down there because obviously I'm going to change the floor in at a certain, at a certain point so put this filament in to dig them out again. It used to be a skeleton spawner but I've already got one of them so I don't need another one to be fair. Gaps in the wall I've got to fill in and then obviously sort this area out here so I'm going to obviously take a row of stairs out there and go from there. So that's what I've done so far. So that's this progress updated, sorted. So I crack on a bit more and then I'll be right back. So here I've actually filled in all the gaps so I can actually line up the polished andesite in place so that I'm not guessing all of that. I can actually pinpoint where it's all going. So, yep, I know it sounds a bit stupid, but for me, it just helps me out on placing where I want things to go so and also took a strip out of the stairs 
like so. That's what I've done so far. So up to the next point. So here I've actually put in the grass in place as I need to do some for the other side of the tunnel, the part of the tunnel. But I thought I might as well get this one out of the way because on the surface there's quite a lot of grass so I can actually dig up with silk touch. So that's not been a problem all the way along. As you can see here, I've actually um, filled in that gap there. So it's not that bad, to be honest, I've done quite well um, with that part anyway. So on to the next part of the build. Whilst I'm actually um, building this tunnel, I'm actually needing some stone at the moment. And to be fair, I've got a silk touch pickaxe on me. Instead of waiting for the furnaces to actually smelt cobblestone back to stone, whilst I do that, let's literally go to my strip mining area and collect enough stone for me to use to actually build some stone bricks so I can turn them into stairs. So, and also whilst I'm here, I can just use this area for like if I need andesite, diorite, granite, it's here. Instead of going off everywhere else to actually grab some, might as well use this area as this kind of thing. And you never know, I might f find diamonds under parts while I've not strip mined. So that's a bonus to be fair, so it's quite a few birds with one stone as the expression goes. So yeah, so I just thought I'd share that with you and go from how I'm getting all my stuff and resources all put together. So, so far here I've actually used the stone brick stairs as per usual like I have been doing and basically going all the way down from the entrance to the end portal did run out of um, blocks to be fair but that's not a problem I've got a silk touch, silk touch pickaxe so I can get the stone pretty easy and all of that and also here I've got a sp poison spiders roaming around down below so that's what's happening so far just for a little progress update so far so I'm going to crack on a bit now well let's start again another progress update here and Diorite polished half slabs have been put in place as per usual. So now that's all done, all the way down. So we've done all the way down to the end portal. All we've got to do now is go along and actually finish do the pattern I've done here all the way down to the bottom to the end portal, and then I'm going to start putting the polished diorite in. So I'll rephrase that, polished andesite. So this part here I've actually managed to make a start putting the polished andesite in place and lined up to a certain point. It goes, I've completed one side, it's got to finish off a couple of more rows but again I've actually run out of polished andesite in my inventory so I've got to go mining for more. But that's not a problem, I can quickly do all that and then back onto the next step of the build. So here I've actually mined the trees out because I actually need, do need the blocks, planks. So I just thought I'd quickly show this off. I have noticed that I could do with probably either stairs or vines just to get up from the water to up to the block the tree sits on. But as you can see there, the, the um, chest is working, the water system is working here enabling it to actually go to the hoppers. Oh downside is well that one's landed here but an odd one here and there is not gonna hurt too much. I could probably live with that to be fair. But at least I know at the moment it's working and it's doing its job. Yeah so basically what I was doing what I was doing here I actually found an enderman I actually got my first ender pearl in this world so I just thought I'd share that with you. But not too bad I'd say not too bad. So for this progress, obviously we've got the polished andesite in place. I've actually took out the blocks in between that going all the way down from the end portal to my base, or vice versa, depending on how you want to see it. But finally got that all done. Now I've got to do the rest of the work of filling in those gaps with relative blocks I've got to place in them and obviously do the birch wood slabs along the side. 
So here I've actually put in the granite stairs all the way along and all the way along. As so abundance of that, so I've got that done and all out of the way. Which was a bonus to be fair. I'd say bonus. Got it done so it goes all the way down from my base all the way down to the end portal on both sides. All I've got to do now, last thing I've got to do now is actually place in the oak wood planks in as well. Also before I don't forget, I've also finished all the birch wood going from end to end. Hey, <laughs> this has been a bit of a challenge to be honest, but mainly getting the resources I actually need to actually finish it off. But other than that, I've quite enjoyed doing this build. So here we are with the finished product. Product, everything is in place. We've got the stone stairs at the top, diorite, push diorite half slabs, granite stairs, oak planks, grass, and birchwood half slabs. All in place, all done. Hooray! This kind of sort of felt really challenging to me. To be fair, I didn't think I was actually going to get it finished, but I pushed myself, pushed myself through it, and actually got it done. All the way up to this point here. Whew. So what I'm going to do is decorate this room here, make it perfect how I would like it, and go from there. So, hooray! So, at this point in time, I think I'm going to leave it here for this episode, as I did get burned out, but I was getting to the point where I was getting fed up going back and forth, filling in the, grabbing the resources, putting them in place to where they're supposed to be, and I think, to be honest, just make it a bit more interesting for me, so I don't get too burnt out, I'm going to leave it here. So, I do hope you've enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below. Remember, if you want to get featured in next week's episode for son of the video don't forget to comment down below with an original comment but other than that thank you very much for watching i'm your host lee and i'll catch you in the next installment on bedrock survival until then bye